Good morning. Can I see your passport in I-20 form? Good morning. Thank you. Here are my documents. Thank you. So, you're applying for a PhD in civil engineering with a focus on smart cities and digital twins. Can you explain why you chose this program? My background in computer science has given me a strong foundation in digital technologies and data analysis, which are crucial for developing smart city solutions. The PhD program in civil engineering at Ball State University focuses on integrating digital technologies with urban infrastructure to create more efficient and sustainable cities. This interdisciplinary approach aligns perfectly with my career goals and interest in using technology to address real-world urban challenges. Why did you choose to study in the United States? The United States is a leader in both technological innovation and civil engineering research. Studying in the US provides access to cutting-edge research facilities, expert faculty, and a diverse academic environment. This combination will enhance my skills and knowledge, allowing me to contribute significantly to the field of smart cities and digital twins. Why did you choose this particular university? I chose Ball State University because it is renowned for its research in smart cities and digital infrastructure. The faculty members are leading experts in this field, and the university has strong industry connections that provide opportunities for practical experience and collaboration. Additionally, the university's state-of-the-art research facilities will enable me to conduct high-impact research. Can you tell me about your academic background and current studies? I completed my undergraduate degree in computer science and am currently pursuing a PhD in the same field here in Seoul. My research has focused on data analytics and digital technologies, which are highly relevant to the study of smart cities. My academic performance has been strong, and I have published several papers in reputable journals. How does your current PhD relate to the program you are applying for in the US? My current PhD research in computer science has provided me with in-depth knowledge of digital technologies and data analysis techniques. These skills are directly applicable to the field of smart cities and digital twins, where technology is used to enhance urban infrastructure. By transitioning to a PhD in civil engineering, I can apply my technical expertise to practical applications in urban development. Why are you applying for a second PhD? My current PhD has equipped me with a strong foundation in computer science. But to fully address the challenges of smart cities, I need an interdisciplinary approach that combines civil engineering with digital technology. The PhD program in civil engineering will provide me with the necessary knowledge and skills in urban infrastructure and development, complementing my existing expertise and enabling me to contribute more effectively to this field. How do you plan to fund your studies? I have been awarded a research assistantship from Ball State University, which will cover my tuition fees and provide a stipend for living expenses. Additionally, my family is supportive and willing to assist with any additional costs if necessary. What are your plans after completing your degree? After completing my PhD, I plan to return to Pakistan and contribute to the development of smart cities and sustainable urban infrastructure. My goal is to work with government agencies and private sector firms to implement innovative solutions that address urban challenges and improve the quality of life in Pakistani cities. Given that you are currently studying in Seoul, why didn't you apply for your visa earlier? I initially booked my appointment for April 12, hoping to secure a visa early in May. However, due to high demand, I was unable to get an earlier appointment. I had to cancel my ticket home and stay in Seoul for the interview. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. How can you assure me that you will return to Pakistan after your studies? I have strong family and professional ties to Pakistan. 
My family resides there, and I am committed to contributing to the development of my home country. The skills and knowledge I acquire in the US will be more impactful in Pakistan, where there is a significant need for smart city solutions and advanced urban infrastructure. Thank you for your responses. Overall, you seem well prepared. Your visa is approved. Good luck. Thank you, officer. Applicant on Gwyn. Window 2, please. Good morning, officer. How are you doing? Good morning. I am great. How are you? I am great. Thanks for asking. So what are you planning to study? I am going to pursue my master's in software engineering management. Great. So how many colleges did you apply to? I had applied to eight universities and I got admitted to four. Could you name the universities that you are accepted to please? Yes. They are University of Illinois, University of Chicago, Willamette College, and Michigan State University. So why did you choose University of Illinois? The course that I am going for is one of the most popular courses at U of I. It's interdisciplinary in nature so its flexibility allows me to take courses from both the engineering and management school. It's an industry-specific management program. Moreover, U of I is ranked number one for experiential learning and it has hands-on industry experience even before I graduate. That sounds great, but how are you going to fund this? Both my parents will be funding my education. They have total savings of $30,000 that they are willing to contribute towards my education. Along with that, I have taken a student loan of $20,000. What do your parents do? Both of them have their own telecommunications business set up here in Vietnam. Both have separate businesses. Yes, that is correct. Have you applied to any distant education programs in the past? No, I have not. Have you been to other countries in the past three years? No, I have not. What are your plans after you graduate? I plan to come back to Vietnam and apply for a leadership role in an engineer-based company whose supply chains are not very optimized. Okay. So I see you graduated in 2015. What have you been doing since then? Yes. Ever since I graduated I started working as a software engineer at Ernst & Young. And I got passionate about programming and have been working in different projects across various domains. Like banking, SCM, e-commerce. Now I feel like upgrading my skill set with the latest technologies to advance in my career to get better opportunities and roles when I come back here. Any relatives or siblings in the States? Not at all. So you don't plan to study further here in your home country? I don't plan to study here because a lot of big tech companies prefer students with degrees and study exposure plus experience in the US. This is considered more valuable compared to graduates with local college degrees and even with hands-on experience. Okay. 
place your right hand four fingers on the scanner. Okay, officer. Place your left hand four fingers on the scanner. Got it, officer. Why do you choose to live in a college dorm instead of living off campus? There are a couple of reasons. First, my college friends can help with my study. Secondly, I think it's better to live on campus so that we can easily communicate with the professors and ask them about school-related questions. Okay. Your visa is approved. Please wait five days until your passport is ready to be picked up. Thank you so much, officer. You have a great day. Don't worry. The person interviewing you is a human. Being rejected in this interview is not the end of everything. Life goes on. If someone doesn't consider you worthy today, it's because of their own short-sightedness. At least you know where to improve. Believe in destiny, you are walking on a destined path, in peace or in tears, you will still have to complete the same journey. Give your 100% in preparation, the more you learn, the more you lose fear of facing the interview questions. Close your eyes a few minutes before an important interview, think about the person you love the most, take a deep breath and go for it. These following interview questions are very important to every F1 prospective student to understand. The answers given to these questions might be the reasons why your visa was delayed or wasn't granted. One other important criteria you all should note is that dress code and manners matter a lot. Good luck, friends across the world.